over 1,000 QRB QSOs. Hailing from Missouri, the undisputed November 9 Yankee Oscar. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to QSO. Hey guys, I bought this device today and it is a tripod. It's a very light tripod and it is designed pretty much for the MP1 super antenna. So the most important part of this is probably this piece right here which latches on. This is really just a, a normal tripod. It's just a normal tripod with a little handle. What I like about it is it's very light. The, tripod that camera's on right there is super heavy and so I can double up with both the MP1 super antenna and I don't need the reason I got this is because I've been going to places that do not have uh, supports there's no trees no anything and I wanted a quick way to get this up to get this up into the air and have a, a support and we're gonna test that out right now I just want to see now this is what I was using so the problem with this is if I'm out in the field I have to have a table and I have a C-clamp here that I would clamp it down to. So that's why I got the antenna mast. And so it was a little expensive, but like I said, I can double up. I can put the Chameleon Impaz on this, or I can put the MP1 Super Antenna. I can use, or a camera. I can also use this for a camera. So I've got this for many uses and plus. It is super, super light. So let's open it up and take a look at it. So now, I can set this up and get it up even a little higher. Oh. So you put this on here. By the way, I think the old mount would still work. Okay, so let's... Uh, I was interrupted in my last video. So let's go and set this up and see... I still have it all connected. And see if we can... What the SWR is before we take it out in the field. Set it up right out here. Okay, I've got the uh, counterpoise right here. I'm first gonna just stretch it out in a straight line and look at the SWR. Last time I did that, it didn't do very well. So after that, I'm gonna spread out the all of these radials in a fan pattern as best I can do. And then I'll take the SWR again and it should be better. Let's find out what happens. Okay. So the reason I did that straight line radials just straight out, I didn't fan them out, is to test it just to see if I'm going to be lazy. I'm out in the field. I just want to throw them down and go. Let's we'll see if that works. Okay, this might be hard to see. Much better at night. But I have my SWR meter here, and I'm going to hit at 7055 megahertz. Look at that. 1.81. I'm very happy with that. Let's go see if we can improve that. And all I did was take the counterpoises str straight out. I know I can get down to 1.3 or so, but let's give that a try. I gotta go make some tweaks. Only difference was I spread it out in the star pattern. Let's take a look. I'm gonna hit. Oh my gosh, look at that. 1.0. 1.0 and I don't have any other, I was gonna put another counterpoise on there, but 1.0, 1.1, very, very happy with that. I hope
hope you can see that. I know it's dark, or actually, actually too bright. We're at 1.09, super happy with that. I'm gonna bring this out in the field and I don't even think I need this. I'm just gonna set up just like that. What happens though, if I bring it up higher, I'm gonna bring the whole thing as high as it'll go. Here we go. Now, all I'm hoping is for, really, I just didn't make the SWR worse, which I did. It's now 1.57, and I did make it a little bit worse, but does going up higher make it worse or better? Raising it up, I had to move the coil up a little bit, and I'm at, well, as I walk over here, it gets worse. 1.2. Anyway, that's plenty good enough. That's the antenna. Let's hope it works in the field. So I have the antenna just as I showed it to you five seconds ago. Let's put it in here. Just fire it up and see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna check the SWR right there. There's the SWR graph. Let's change it to FM. And I will key up, because I don't hear any. So this does have a tuner inside of it. And the SWR now is at pretty much one to one. <laughs> 